Hi, I'm Katie Souza. You're watching Healing Your Soul, Real Keys to the Miraculous. Last week, we talked about the keys to healing your wounded soul. It's the blood of Jesus that he shed at the cross that washes away every sin that could wound you. And the dunamis power from the resurrection heals the wounds that came from sin and trauma. Remember, the word dunamis means excellence of soul. Every time you pray for dunamis to fill your soul, you become more and more excellent. Then you'll prosper in every area of your life. This week, we're gonna talk about how wounds control your mind, your will, and your emotions. When I was on the streets, my mind was always racing, going a mile a minute with thoughts on how to make money illegally, how to score my next bag of dope. My mind was always full of hateful, angry thoughts towards people who I thought were my enemies. I was constantly thinking, how can I hurt them? I was so wounded that even my will was being controlled. I made one bad decision after another, and those decisions led me into dozens of arrests and into many close calls that almost took my life. My soul was wounded by all the sin and trauma that I was living through. Even my emotions were completely out of control. I'd be raging one minute, then completely depressed the next. You may not have lived the extreme life I have, but every one of us has been wounded in our inner man. Well, let me tell you something. Those wounds are controlling the way you think, the decisions you make, and the emotions you feel. Today, we're gonna fix it. Let's start with a review. We're three-part beings, we're body, soul, and spirit. When you're born again, your spirit man was made instantly perfect. So that means that all the problems in your life are not coming from your born again spirit, right? So where are they coming from? They are coming from your soul. When you're born again, your soul man is not made instantly perfect. Our spirit, it happens instantly. Our souls, we have to go through that process of sanctification. Why would our souls need to be cleansed and purified? Because according to the Bible, our souls are wounded. Our souls have been literally wounded through two main sources, sin and trauma. When we sin against ourselves, like, you know, we get involved in alcoholism or adultery or, you know, we drank or we smoked or we did drugs or maybe it's not so obvious stuff. You know, maybe we gossip too much. Maybe we chronically overeat. But those sins, according to the scripture right here, can wound us. Maybe somebody sins against us. They attack us. They reject us. They molest us. They abandon us. They talk about us. Well, those sins committed against us can wound us too. Painful events can leave a wound in your soul, like a tragic accident, a death in your family, maybe loss of a job, maybe you lost your home or your car or your children. You went through a painful divorce. You know, all of those traumatic events can wound you. But I'm gonna give you the keys, two simple keys to getting your soul healed. The Bible says that Jesus shed his blood at the cross for every sin that would ever wound your soul. For it is the blood that maketh atonement for the soul. So whenever you are starting to get healing for your soul, that's what you start with, the blood. But we have to understand something, that when we sin, that sin can wound us. And there is a different power, a special power, that's especially for the healing of those wounds that come from sin and that also come from trauma. What is that power? It's a power called dunamis that comes to us from the resurrection. Number one, it means this, the power to perform miracles. But it also means this, excellence of soul. It's what heals the wound that came from the sin. Look, you need them both. Without the resurrection, Jesus' payment that he paid on the cross doesn't go into effect. Do you understand that? Jesus paid a full and complete payment for the penalty of sin and sickness. He paid it on the cross. But unless there was a resurrection, that payment would never go into effect. Without the resurrection, Jesus would still be a man dead in a tomb. So wounds in your soul can affect and control every part of your soul, including your mind, your will, and your emotions. Let, let, let me prove that to you. Let's look at the mind first. Let's read a famous scripture about the mind right now. 
2 Corinthians 10, this is verse 4, says this, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Okay, so this scripture is about the mind. What's the mind? It's part of your soul, isn't it? Right? And it's talking about how strongholds get built up in your mind. And then those strongholds cause you to think wrong thoughts, maybe even dangerous, harmful thoughts. Amen? But here in this, in this verse here, God is promising us that he has weapons for us. Weapons that are not carnal. Weapons that are not based on our own strength and our own ability. But weapons that are supernatural, that are actually, the Bible says, mighty. These are weapons that are mighty for the throwing down of these strongholds that get into our mind. How many of you have quoted that famous verse? That's a pretty famous verse, isn't it? But do you actually know what those mighty weapons are? Because you've been quoting that God has these mighty weapons that are for the throwing down of strongholds. Do you actually know what these mighty weapons are and do you know what they do? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what they do. They are weapons that heal your soul. Because when your soul gets healed, strongholds in your mind will get healed too. Is there any proof about that? Yes, it's right here in the scripture. It says, for the weapons of our warfare are mighty, mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. Go look in your Strong's Concordance and look up that word mighty. Guess what it means? Listen, this is a quote from the Strong's. It means strong in soul. Strong in soul. What does that mean? That those weapons that are mighty are the ones that make your soul strong. That's how you cast down the strongholds in your mind. You make your soul strong. You get your soul healed of the wounds that are controlling your thinking. When we have strongholds in our mind, we think about things the wrong way. We do. Right now, you're thinking about somebody the wrong way. Could be a friend, could be uh, your husband, could be a spouse, could be your children, could be anyone in your life. And you're having bad, wrong thoughts about them. Why? Because maybe you've been in a squabble with them for years, and they've wounded you, and you've wounded them. And now those wounds are controlling the way you think about your spouse. They're controlling the way you think about your children. They're controlling the way you think about a friend. You're controlling the way you think about your pastor. They're controlling the way you think about your boss. Because maybe he did something to wound you. And now that wound is controlling, and all you're thinking, these negative thoughts and these horrible things, and well, I bet you, he, I bet you he's going to fire me any day now when he doesn't even intend on doing that. Oh, I bet you he's uh, saying this or that about me, and he's probably not even said a peep. You know what I mean? We're thinking these things, these accusatory, judgmental, critical thoughts, and they're coming from woundedness inside of us. How many of you have that kind of mind noise inside your mind? All the time. But when your, when your soul starts to get healed, when you use the weapons of our warfare that are mighty for the throwing down of strongholds, you're going to get what mighty means. You're going to become strong in soul. And your mind is going to think completely different than it ever has before. Amen? So wounds in your soul can control every part of your soul, your mind, and your will. And your will. What's the job of your will? The job of your will is to make right, God-given decisions. Amen? Healthy, good decisions. That's what God created your will to do. Your will to do. Amen? But how many of you have been making bad decisions? How many of you have made all kinds of decisions that have brought even devastation in your life? Maybe you started a ministry you weren't supposed to because it wasn't God-led. It was soul-led. And you started it, and you got a bunch of people involved, and then it crashed and burned, and a bunch of people got hurt and wounded. Maybe you started a business, but it wasn't a business that the Holy Spirit told you to start. It was a business that you chose to start with your because your will was being controlled by woundedness inside of you. And then you started that business, and it crashed and burned. It went bankrupt. And now you're in a big old mess. When we have wounds in our soul, 
Those wounds can cause us to choose to do the wrong thing, choose to buy the wrong house at the wrong time, choose to send your kids to the wrong school, choose to do the wrong thing when trying to share custody with, the, with, with, the, with your spouse. Those Wounds inside of you can cause you to make wrong decisions. Let's, let's just have an example. Let's, let's say you're a woman and you were abused as a child and now that sin of abuse, it wounded your soul and now today you're always picking the wrong men. You know anybody that has that? Their picker's broken? I know lots of people like that. I know people that are on their fourth and fifth husband. I'm not trying to diss anybody. I'm just saying, your picker's broken. She would, uh, you know, you see people that are sinned against as children. Those sins form wound inside their soul, and now today they're making wrong decisions out of it. I see women that pick the wrong men every time. Over and over, even they pick men that beat on them and that abuse them. But if you go and you find out what's going on in their life, it always, they always have a story. Something happened to them in their childhood. Some sort of abuse or molestation or something happened to them to wound them. And now they are making decisions out of that wound. Amen? Maybe you grew up in poverty. And living like that literally traumatized you. I mean, you're going from school to school. You lived in bad neighborhoods, unsafe neighborhoods. You know, uh, you were always traumatized because there wasn't enough food. You went to school in raggy, shabby clothes, and people teased you, and it was a horrible life. You lived up in, as you were growing up in poverty. You were traumatized by that, and it wounded your soul. And now today you're making bad decisions with your money. You're making bad decisions with your money. When your power is about to be turned off, you're insisting on going to get your nails done every week. Or maybe as soon as you get one big check, you know, even though your rent is, a, is due and you don't have it, you go out and buy a big screen TV. Because by golly, you never had one growing up, so you're going to have one now. Well, good for you. Too bad you don't have a place to plug it in. But you see, it's all connected. The Bible says we'll be prospered and be in health even as our soul is prospered. Katie Souza's The Healing School is a former number one bestseller on Sid Roth's It's Supernatural. This six-disc audio teach will walk you through the foundations of biblical healing and lead you step-by-step step through key revelations found in the Bible. In this teaching, Katie will uncover the demonic origins of disease and poverty, pinpoint the strong man over witchcraft, identify the king over curses, examine the authority of Jesus' healing ministry, show you how soul healing is a supernatural tool, hand you the keys that Jesus made available and teach you to prosper in every area of life. In her ministry, Katie has seen thousands of people healed of every kind of disorder, disease, affliction, and oppression. And she wants you to walk in that anointing too. Place your order for The Healing School today, along with your gift of $45 or more. And as a thank you, Katie will send you a copy of The Healing School 6-Disc Set. Call 1-800-789-7895 or go online to katiesouza.tv. The Healing School is not only for those who seek their own healing, but for those who want to carry the healing anointing. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus told us to heal the sick and cast out demons. And now you can with the keys that you'll gain from The Healing School. Go online now to katiesouza.tv to place your order or call 1-800-789-7895 with your gift of $45 or more and request Katie Souza's The Healing School 6 disc set. Call or go online today. The church hasn't been prospered yet is because we're wounded in our soul and those wounds are controlling our will and when we get money in our hands, we're making the wrong decisions with it. I once had a, a, a family that had received an inheritance and they wanted some uh, help, some guidance on how to invest this money they had. And one of, and the wife had a dream during this process. I was like, well, I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your money, but I'll try to help you if you have any insight from God. And she had a dream that the living dead were coming and trying to steal this big nest egg, this big diamond they got. And she goes, what do you think that means? Well, what are wounds? They're the living dead. There's stuff that happened in the past that was supposed to die a long time ago, but it's still alive and kicking and making trouble and trying to eat you and your, and your money. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? And she said, I had that dream. And I said, don't make any decisions with your money right now. 
because I'm feeling that the Lord is saying that you're wounded in your soul and that those wounds are like the living dead. They're going to come and gobble up your inheritance. Well, they didn't take my advice and they invested in something and they lost every dime. See, that's why God hasn't given us the million bucks that we've been praying for. Because our souls are wounded. And if we got the money, we're going to make wrong decisions with the wounds. Because the wounds are in there controlling our will. And we're going to blow the money. You're thinking, no, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. Look, if Paul said, I do the thing I don't want to do because the sin nature fixed and operating in my soul, then you're going to do it. If the apostle Paul was being controlled by the junk in his trunk, then we're going to be controlled too. We need to get these wounds healed so we can prosper and be in health, amen, even as our soul prospers. When your soul gets healed, you're going to be free. You're going to be free. You're going to make right decisions. You're going to start the right business at the right time. God's going to lead you to what it is. You're going to start the right ministry because God's going to tell you what to do. And your soul won't get in the way. You'll be totally hearing from your spirit, man. Amen. You're going to buy the right house at the right time. You're not going to lose money on it. And you're not going to lose the house. Man, you're going to pick the right men. And when your soul gets healed, things are going to change. Amen. Things are going to change. Wounds inside your soul, they're controlling the mind. They're controlling the will. And they're controlling your emotions. How many of you have really upsetting, painful emotions that overtake you sometimes? Those can be from the soul. They can be from the soul. That's what the Bible says. Let's look at some examples. I'll just skim through some of the Psalms, okay? Psalm 35, it says that we have, quote, sorrow in our soul. Psalm 42, it says that our soul is cast down and disquieted within us. Psalm 77 says our soul refuses to be comforted. Psalm 88 says our soul is full of trouble. Psalm 109 says our soul melts from heaviness. Psalm 94 says that we have a multitude of anxieties within our soul. But God comforts and delights in our soul. All these things that you just heard, what, what is the list? Okay, sorrowness of soul, uh, cast down in our soul, disquieted in our soul, um, our soul refusing to be comforted, full of troubles, full of heaviness, full of anxieties. When you have those feelings, uh, anxiousness, heaviness, depression, feeling like your soul can't be comforted, ever have one of those days, no, no matter what you do, it's like, man, I just can't shake this. What is it? No matter what I do, I feel like my soul can't be comforted. When you have those kinds of like issues sh show up, it's a sign to you. You've got a wound inside your soul. Because all these scriptures say those are coming from the soul. Amen? Troubles are coming from the soul. Heaviness comes from the soul. Anxiety comes from the soul. I love Psalm 131. It says, surely I've calmed and quieted my soul. Like a weaned child within his mother, like a weaned child is my soul within me. What does a child do that's not weaned? It frets, it fusses, it bawls, it squalls, right? You ever have those moments? You fretting, fussing, even bawling, squalling. Those are signs your soul is wounded. You have wounds inside your soul that could be producing that. And this, and this scripture here says that when we have healing in our soul, that our soul will be calm and quieted like a weaned child within us is our soul. You're going to start to see your emotions bouncing out when you get your soul healed. You're going to start to see a shift inside your soul when your soul gets healed. You're not going to feel the depression you used to feel and the anxiety you used to feel and the heaviness you felt and the squalling and the bawling. That's all coming from in here. That indicates that there's woundedness inside of you. But I'm going to give you the keys, two simple keys to getting your soul healed. And these are keys you're going to use over and over and over again. You're going to apply these two simple things about Jesus to this long list of issues that are coming from your soul. And you're going to see you're going to start to have miracles in your life. Amen? So let's look at what those two things are. What are those weapons that 2 Corinthians 12 talked about? It said that we have uh, weapons of our warfare which are mighty, mighty for the throwing down of these strongholds. What are those mighty weapons that make us what that word mighty means? Strong in soul. There are two things. 
It's the blood that comes from Jesus' sacrifice at the cross and a power called dunamis that comes from the resurrection, from his victory at the resurrection. Let's have an activation right now. We're going to go through these two simple steps. How many of you having issues in your mind or your will or your emotions? We're going to get healed tonight, amen? Okay, now everybody pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent for thinking wrong thoughts in my mind, for making wrong decisions with my will, and coming into agreement with negative, hurtful, painful emotions that were coming from my soul. I repent for any part of my soul being used to sin. And I plead the blood over those sins right now. And I break my agreement with every thought that is not of you, every imagination that is not of you, every reasoning that's not of you, every bad choice that's not of you, and every negative emotion that's not of you. I don't receive them anymore in the name of Jesus. I saturate my soul with the blood of Jesus. Leviticus 17 says the blood atoneth for my soul. The blood is washing away the sin in my soul right now in your name. Now just say amen. Now are we going to stop there? No, because we went down in death with Christ at the cross, but now we come up to new life. See, this is the part where you come up to new life, with him at the resurrection. You've been missing this part, and that's why you haven't had the new life yet. Amen? So now say, Lord, when I got baptized into you, I got them both. I got the blood from the cross. I got the dunamis from the resurrection. They're already mine. I just need to step into it. I'm going to pray into it right now. Say, Lord, fill my soul with dunamis. It's going to make me excellent of soul. It's going to heal every wound in my soul that was controlling my mind, that was controlling my will, and controlling my emotions. I receive it now. Fill me up. With dunamis, I pray, like Paul prayed, that I would be strengthened and reinforced with mighty power, mighty power, mighty power in my inner man. My soul is being strengthened and reinforced with dunamis. I have it. Because the resurrection, fill me now, Lord. Fill me now, Lord. Fill me now, Lord. Now just start decreeing over yourself that you're healed of those wounds. I decree over you right now. Any wound that was inside you that was controlling the way you thought, that was controlling your, your will, the choices you were making, that was controlling your emotions and making you feel dangerous, painful, agonizing emotions is being healed right now in the name of Jesus right now. We thank you, Lord, that you're causing everyone to be filled with your resurrection power of dunamis. That it is making them excellent of soul. Everybody say, I'm excellent of soul. I am excellent of soul. I am excellent of soul. I am excellent of soul. You know, you really have to believe it because it's, it's really happening right now. You might not realize it, but right now you're becoming excellent of soul. Jesus died for the wounds in your soul. He's going to see his payment paid. He gets what he paid his payment for, amen? He gets everything, every whip, every nail, everything he paid for, the victory of the resurrection. He's going to see that he gets paid for what he accomplished.
hey, I'm believing right now that your mind, your will, and your emotions are getting freed up. I encourage you to continue praying these simple prayers repeatedly over those parts of your soul. When I did, the strongholds that were controlling my thoughts, my decisions, and my emotions were broken off. Now my thought life is completely changed. I don't have the same mind chatter that I used to, and it's not so noisy in there anymore, if you know what I mean. As far as my will, I now make good, healthy decisions that lead to success and victory in every part of my life, my business, my ministry, relationships. And as far as my emotions, well, I'll tell you this, I am more peaceful now than I've ever been. I used to be a volcano waiting to erupt, you know what I mean? Now I can deal with stressful and hard situations without totally losing it. As you get healed in these areas of your soul, you're going to see a total shift in every area of your life as well. Katie Souza's The Healing School is a former number one bestseller on Sid Roth's It's Supernatural. This six-disc audio teach will walk you through the foundations of biblical healing and lead you step-by-step step through key revelations found in the Bible. In this teaching, Katie will uncover the demonic origins of disease and poverty, pinpoint the strong man over witchcraft, identify the king over curses, examine the authority of Jesus' healing ministry, show you how soul healing is a supernatural tool, hand you the keys that Jesus made available and teach you to prosper in every area of life. In her ministry, Katie has seen thousands of people healed of every kind of disorder, disease, affliction, and oppression. And she wants you to walk in that anointing too. Place your order for The Healing School today, along with your gift of $45 or more. And as a thank you, Katie will send you a copy of The Healing School 6-Disc Set. Call 1-800-789-7895 or go online to katiesouza.tv. The Healing School is not only for those who seek their own healing, but for those who want to carry the healing anointing. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus told us to heal the sick and cast out demons. And now you can with the keys that you'll gain from The Healing School. Go online now to katiesouza.tv to place your order or call 1-800-789-7895 with your gift of $45 or more and request Katie Souza's The Healing School 6 disc set. Call or go online today. Next week, I'm going to show you through scripture that long-term illnesses can be a direct result of wounds in your soul. Many of you may be suffering from a long-term ailment, an illness or a disability. There is a possibility that your physical disease is coming from a wound in your inner man. Now, the good news is this, we're gonna get it healed. So you don't wanna miss next week's program, okay? We'll see you then. For information on events, products, free videos, blogs, and even more, log on to my website, katiesouza.com.